Shiny bright. Shiny. Oh, O M G. Boxes of old shiny bright ornaments for $3.99 each. Those are coming with me. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It's another day to go find some treasures for resale. Yep. That's what we're doing. Now, you will probably see a little difference in the things that I'm picking up off the shelf because things are changing in my reselling world. I've got some big announcements to make very, very soon, but patience, Danny. We must lay the groundwork and make sure everything is ready to go. But I know, I'm sorry, I can't spill the beans just yet, but please make sure you're subscribed and following because um, some exciting stuff is happening. That includes you, if you want to make money. Okay, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna find some good quality, high margin, ridiculously awesome things to resell. Let's get shop done. All right, the first thing that we have to do is pick out our lucky cart. Ooh, the lucky carts have been getting used today. Let's hope they have brought out some new goodies. And the color is orange. Right away, I see a new cart of goodies that has come out. So we will check there first. Bingo, anyone? Puzzles, chalk. Ooh, somebody was a big bingo player, that's for sure. I don't see anything here, but let's hope they've already loaded the shelves with some good stuff. Okay, I tried to get here right when they opened, but that just doesn't happen for me. There is so much going on in my mornings. Give thanks for each new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for everything thy goodness sends. Ralph Waldo Emerson. That's really kind of beautiful. Now, I do really well with things like this, and so for $4.99, I will pick that up. The thing I want to stress is that I do really well with that. Not every reseller does really well with that. And that's what makes the beauty of this reselling world so cool. Look at that is cherries for $4.99. Don't think it's that old. But you have to develop your niche. That is the whole basis of what I teach. You find what you love to deal with and that you find a customer base for and then you go on a treasure hunt every time you go sourcing and you look for what you want to look for, not what somebody else tells you is a hot seller or a bolo or all of that, but you develop your own gut about what's going to sell for you. And that's what I share with you. I share with you what sells well for me and how I make my decisions. Like, look at this Atlantic salmon. He is a majolica. Unfortunately, with that damaged fin, he is going to have to stay on the shelf, but man, he was really pretty. I liked him. I've actually sold these leaves before. That one is very, very loose. Probably could be fixed, but I'm not motivated enough to fix it. Look at those strawberries. Oh, it's Port Marion. See, now this is a plate I will deal with. Port Marion is a really good brand and I can definitely get that one sold. I apologize if anyone's dogs are uh, responding to the video right now as some children are playing with squeaky toys in the background. Oh, here's some more of these pretty little flowers. These ones are damaged. We got the little red globey things there. Ooh, those were kind of cool. Look at these. Now, I don't think these are old or anything. They're just uh, decorative. 
again, it's almost like that lobby art, you know, something that you would see at a hotel or an office building. We've got uh, Jessica Zemsky plates. They have children on them. There's Star. Oh, my name is Star. My name is Star. My name is Star. Apparently, they all are named Star. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what those are worth. They are Schmidt. Poor me. Yeah, I mean, we'll put a little comp on the screen here. All right, let's take a peek at these purple shell bowls. They are not marked. Ooh, they are orange. That would be a $1.50. Ooh, there are some very loud children. I kind of like these purple, uh, clamshell bowls. I could probably get 15 to 20 for the pair and they're only going to cost me three so I'll go ahead and pick those up. This is uh, Ronald's pig. It's a pretty iridescent vase. It's a hobbyist piece. It is very very loud in here today. I don't know if that's coming through because I do have a pretty good microphone, but it's uh it's a little overwhelming on my end, I must say. Goodness gracious, there is a lot of energy in this place. <laughs> oh my, there is a dresser tray. This one is not that old. I like to pick up the older ones and they do sell well. See, this one just says made in China. If it wasn't $12.99, I would probably still pick it up for resale, but the $12.99, I believe it would sell in the $20 to $30 range, and that's just not enough margin for me to mess with it. These are pretty little, pretty little candle holders for $0.99 cents each. Put them side by side. They've, I'll take these candles out by popping these in the freezer. And then uh, once these kind of shrink up, they will come right out. Just making sure there's no chips or cracks. Yeah, for 99 cents each, we will get those. This looks like it's part of a little mortar and pestle. Would have had the little thing in there. It is marble. I wonder how hard it would be to find the other piece. Because $3.99 is a really good price for that. I'm torn. I think I'm going to leave it, although I am torn. And uh, these are kind of nice. I think they're meant to be cups, but they'd make pretty little vases, wouldn't they? You just see putting a little succulent or something in there. I believe that, oh wait, <laughs> there's four of them. Oh goodness, see, now when there's like an even number, I struggle. Oh no, see, we're good. We're safe because there's five of them. All right, how many of you are telling me right now to pick those up? Because I could sell them, whoops, I could sell them as a set. So it'd be like $10 to pick it up, but are, what are they worth? That's always the question. What are they worth? If I did them individual, I feel like I could get like $8 to $10 a piece. If I sold them as a set, I'm not so sure I could get that. Oh goodness, I'm wrestling this with this way too long. I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? All right, I think that's going to be it on that shelf. And over here, we have these letters that are antlers. I love the other oh, $10 each. I love these though. Like, what can you spell? Let's see. Athen or Thain, spelled two different ways. I, A Y E. Oh, all sort. No, there's no Y, <laughs> but all sorts of fun things. All right, Easter. That'll be right around the corner after Christmas. Oh boy. <laughs> oh well, I know it's here. <laughs> that's oh, that's Avon. No, it's Quan Quan. Oh, I saw four letters and thought it said Avon. So it is. 
1981. That's kind of a pretty piece for 2 dollars I'll grab that. I am not sure what those are supposed to be. Just uh, wall hangy thingies. They're wall hangy thingies. That's what they are. See. Lots of kind of like home goods things. I'm trying to get down to this one under here. Let's see. Home is where our story begins. I've made some decisions about how I'm going to put up some of my art. I've been wrestling and kind of living in my space, coming up with ideas, and I think I'm finally going to go for it because why not? It's time. Little uh, Noah's Ark note patty thing. Some very like cheaply made items. I'm not into the cheap quality stuff so much. And then there was a rooster. Oh, he's pretty damaged up. That's too bad. It was $4.99. That's not a bad price. Somebody can fix him up. It's just not a it's just not a good item for a reseller with that damage, so we will leave him. Oh, I see some little brown boxes that look vintage. Oh, unfortunately, they've got a lot of wear to them. Now somebody was selling this for like two dollars at their yard sale. I would hope that. Goodwill would at least clean that two dollars off before they put the two ninety nine on. I mean, just you know, the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah. They're cute, um, but they're pretty, pretty damaged. All right, now we're in the metals. I think this is one of Noah's favorite sections: the metals and maybe like the fake plants. This is the store that I found my Curtis. Jerry, I how do you say it? Jerry, Jir. It's spelled J E R E. I don't know. I mean, it's French, obviously. So it's to me, it's like Jerry, or maybe it's just Jerry. I don't know. You guys tell me down in the comment. How do you say it? Now here is a vintage tray for four ninety nine. Now that one, I will absolutely pick up. I don't see much of anything else on these shelves either. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, they move their pet supplies way up close here now. That is very interesting. And then we move right into planters. I think they sell these at Ikea. Oh little little fake plants we don't need anymore we're like we're good on fake plants right now oh this is pretty you are the serenity something hold on let me find you a spot here on the shelf so we can look a little closer look at the imprint of like a is it a pine or a fern or something it almost looks like they impressed it into the pottery. Blue interior. This is very, very nicely done. I am going to pay the $7.99 for that piece because it's gorgeous. All right, let's see what other nice little pottery piece might be in here. You know, the blue, the blue caught my attention. It's a nice peachy coral, just a really nice color, but it is not anything special. Rachel and I went to Home Depot last night and bought some plants and a big planter for her. And uh, today we are going to be doing a little gardening. I love doing little family things like that together. And I've really been working hard to make the time. Which is why you see a few less videos from me than normal because I'm reprioritizing some things in my life. One of them being my kids who uh, are growing right before my eyes. 
All right, let's see. I kind of have this idea, like someday I would love to put a big projector screen, movie, theatery kind of thing in the backyard and uh, pop popcorn and sit up there and watch a movie together. That's a, that's a distant thing. That's a distant thing. I don't have time for it right now. I mean, I don't have time to put it together after I just made that big thing about time. Uh, Holiday Wreath Bunt Pan by Nordicware. Brand spanking new for $5.99. It was $13.49 where, wherever it was sold. Nordicware is generally a pretty good brand. I'm not going to pick this up, but uh, we'll throw a comp up here so you can see what it's worth. All right, we've got some crafty goodies. I have been getting a lot of messages about my project pieces, and I will just say once more, you know, it's it's my happy time, it's my no camera time kind of, so um, when the time is right, I will share, guys, but for now, I am just really enjoying doing the pieces. I promise you there will be a point. I'm going to share all. All right, and then we go into the bowls and plates, which I'm not sure about this merchandising. It's a little disconnected, but I would love to know the numbers. Well, these are Pier 1. They are Pier 1 Karina Tile. Now, I don't generally pick up sets of dishes at all, but I do like to research and look at what's out there and um, the values of things. These are chipped up as well, so we wouldn't be picking these up, but they are interesting. That's a pretty little studio piece. Look, Sage Scott, 2009. I know it's kind of a hobbyist piece because, well, it's not quite round, but the colors are really, really nice. Somebody will really enjoy that one. It just doesn't have a lot of resale value for us. Those are cute. Fritz. Okay, let's see if we can see one that isn't covered up. Hoff Fritz. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Ah, no, no. You got all that plate back and you got to cover right over the mark. Still don't quite understand that, but oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm not even sure. I think it said Hoff Fritz, the one I could see. These are interesting because they have like this little spouty thing here, I guess, for condensation to run off. I don't know. I've never seen those before. Okay. Anything interesting here? Oh, these are cool. These are Franciscan. $5.99 for one, two, three, four, five, six, and for eight little plates. I am going to pick those up. At the end of my shopping, I do a full recap where I will tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And I do that after I have gotten it home and have done all the research so that I can give you actual comps and not just you know pull a number out of the top of my head so I'll give you the pattern names I'll give you all the info you need at the end of the shopping so stay tuned for that Roma uh, I did find out that Italy at least where our Jordan is is eight hours ahead <laughs> it's made it interesting to be talking this is some mid-century stoneware. It's a nice little, uh, kind of like a, I don't know if it's meant to be like a sugar bowl or it's kind of narrow at the top for a sugar bowl, but it's pretty cool. Made in England, $2.99. I really like this. I, I just, I like it. I'm going to get it. Got a juice reamer. If you find those in uranium glass, they can do quite well. Although uranium glass is... There's a lot of, oh, that's a charcoal. Your uranium glass is like going through a little bit of a controversy right now as to its safety, but every article that I find says it is safe to have, don't eat or drink out of it, obviously, but it's safe to have around. It's not emitting a bunch of um, 
<laughs> what do you call it? Uh, um, radium? What is it? These are drawer pulls. How cute are those? They are pure one. $4.99 for one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them in there. We're going to grab those. It's caught my eye. Now this is a nice piece. Again, a studio pottery, but the colors and everything are so nice. A few little pock marks from just the way the glaze is put on, but it's only 99 cents. See, for 99 cents, I can find this a home, even if it is studio pottery, because it's just really nice and it's a good size. So we're gonna grab that one. It's huge, it's fun, it's easy. It's a casino mug. I do see some Franciscan apple pieces down here. I generally don't deal with the cups and saucers. They're a bit of a slow seller. I would pick up the bowls if they were in great shape, but you can see there's a lot of chipping on that one. So we're gonna leave those for somebody else. Although I do love the Franciscan. Okay, Kentucky Derby Museum mug. Look at the horsies. Oh, that's an awesome mug. If I was a coffee drinker, I, I would love that mug. Uh, I, I, I think Rachel would love this mug. Rachel is a tea drinker and she does utilize mugs. All right, let's see if there's anything else. This one is it's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. You are by Blue, B-L-U-W. It's a Beatles song, which makes it... Oh, wait, what's this say on the back? It's got it's got all the uh, lyrics on the back, too. How much are you, $2.99? There are a lot of Beatles fans out there. I think I'm going to grab that one. Okay, shot glasses, definitely not my thing. Somebody stuck a little Kelly doll. Usually what this tells me is like a reseller has looked it up and then, you know, set it aside when they decided they didn't want it. And it's not really something that's in my niche, so I'm not inclined to look at it myself. I do like the little lobster. Obviously this comes from a restaurant, um, but I like it. And if there was more than one, I'd probably get it. And then there are some Six Flags Looney Tune mugs. You can tell these have been through the dishwasher. Sadly, they get quite faded. So those, even if they had value um, for me, it's not something I'd pick up, but now they've really kind of wiped out the value on those. And then this Bird Mugs is 1912, and I don't quite understand the reference to 1912. But it's a singleton. Again, it's a singleton. I'm going to leave the singletons. These are nice. Just really nice, like bar glasses. I'm not going to deal with those today. Let's keep them moving. Lots of glassware. Nothing that we really need. Although I have picked up some recently. It's really got to be worth dealing with though. All right, this is where they have put more of their kitchen -y stuff. These are Fukugawa Arita, hand painted. $2.99. I'm assuming, yeah, there's $3 each. it would be $6 for the pair of the candlesticks. I might look those up. All right, it's not a real high seller and it's got a really low um, sell through. So it's a long tail item. I don't mind getting long tail items if, you know, they got a really good margin on them, but about 20 bucks on the teapot too, which just not enough to have it hanging around a long time. 
This is Polish. Nope, it's not. It's made in China. It fooled me with those colors. And it's not priced. It's really pretty. You know, I have been selling utensil holders. I've been selling a lot of things that are very functional. Butter dishes, utensil holders, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the cart because I'm sure they're going to give me a good price on it. And I almost missed it. I almost missed that this is a Grey Goose cocktail shaker. There's the goose. It doesn't say Grey Goose. You just have to know that that's the Grey Goose logo. And it's $3.99. Uh, yep, we're grabbing that. Oh, this thing is still here, and I still don't know what all would have gone. I mean, a salt and pepper, but I don't know what these ones would have been. It's kind of a mysterious piece. That's a really, really cheaply made and painted chicken. Achilles florist on that one. A little purple garlic grater dish. Oh, that's, oh, this is one of those magnetic, um, oh, it's kind of heavy, but it's magnetic, so you would hang it, like, on something. I, I know, words are escaping me today. This is uh, also Franciscan. I think it's Coronado is the pattern. I had a gray tag. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up, too. It's probably going to be, like, a buck ninety-nine. Now there is a butter dish here, but it's mismatched because this is Franciscan. This goes with the the apple pattern. So we don't know where his bottom is. All right, I think we have found everything there is to find on this shelf. Let's move over to the next one and see what goodies we have. That looks like a Thomas Kincaid, Teleflora. It's not really my thing. It's just not really my thing. It might have some resale value. We'll throw a comp up. Uh, da -da -da -da. This has a nice look to it, but it's not, not marked. There is an N in the bottom. I don't know what that might stand for. Probably about a twelve to fifteen dollar piece. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's more of that cherry pattern. I do like it. I like the cherries. I like cherries and strawberries and all things kind of fruity and wonderful in decor. I wonder why that is. <gasps> Oh, where is your lid? Oh, where is your lid? You're so cute, but you're plastic. I thought you were glass. All right. Crisis averted. I thought it was something old, but it's not. Okay, now we're in the office supplies, although they do have some crafty stuff over here too. The stamps. There was a day I would have picked up every single one of those stamps and I would sell them individually, but those days are gone. I used to love these. Okay, is this silly? When I was in school, in this grade level, I loved this kind of words on things. Uh, I've always been a writer and a words person more than a math person. And so words just kind of give me the warm fuzzies. I always love hearing if anybody else has that in common with me, or am I just a weirdo out there with these weird little memory things? Or maybe we're weirdos and we can just be weirdos together, because there ain't nothing wrong with that either. Okie dokie, lamps, lamps, lamps. Oh, I see an interesting one. We'll look a little, oh, I see a couple interesting ones. We'll look a little closer like these little boudoir lamps they have some age on them yeah okay they are probably westmoreland shades they are asking 25 a lamp 
So that's a little more than gives me the margin I would need, especially if I was going to ship these. I would need a lot more margin for the time and the expense and everything involved with shipping a pair of lamps like this, but they are super cute. This one caught my eye too, but it's like a fabric decoupage thing, and it's got this really old plug to it, so that's probably like a, I'm going to say 70s. It's giving me 70s vibes. And that one is $14.99. All right, we'll take a peek in the art. Meals and memories are made here. That's really sweet. And then there's a menu. We have a little menu. We have a, like a little write on menu because Noah likes to plan out the week and then we plan the grocery list for the week and everybody knows what to expect. Cute little follow your dreams for who knows what tomorrow will bring. That's a 1989 for $1.99. We'll grab that. Oh, I love this. All I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. And I don't even drink coffee, but I love this. Well, this is kind of what I was just talking about a little bit ago. A hundred years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, the sort of house I lived in, or the kind of clothes I wore, but the world may be much different because I was important to the life of a child. That almost makes me cry. That's a very bright and cheery piece of art. It's just a canvas, kind of like a home decor, kind of a... Oh, it's orange tag too. Oh, it's only $2.50. Oh goodness, oh goodness, yep, I need it. I am perusing the textiles. I love finding pillow covers. William Morris at home. This is brand new with tags. I like brand new with tags items. Let's find out where it came from. You came from somewhere, even on clearance you were $15. Hmm. I wish there was two, but I do like it because it's got birds. Oh, wait, how much are you here? You are $1.99. We'll grab it. And then we have to look through the actual pillows. Let's see, that's, I love the color of that, but I don't really deal in used comforters so much, unless they're like an old quilt or chenille bedspread something that's like super vintage and super cool but generally I don't I don't deal in those kind of textiles okay let's peek through the purses I I don't ever have very high hopes though in the purses just because they have like a blanket pricing that generally prices them out of reseller pricing but every once in a while uh, that's not it every once in a while I can find something pretty cool, like um, it looks like the uh, like Ralph Lauren polo kind of thing, but this is not even real leather, and that's what you got to be careful of too. There will be a lot of fake brands in a thrift store because somehow they are not held to the same standard. Um, this is American Flyer, and it's this little travel satchel got some pilling and stuff but it's got a really nice look to it but we are not gonna get it but at a different price point I might have all right let's take a peek in the jewelry looks a little slim today although there's a cuff that might have some real lapis in it so that's got possibilities we'll take a peek at that and then they've got their yellow tag, which is their newer purchased jewelry. But then there's another side over there. All right, let's look through here. It's an interesting looking ring. Let's see what else? If I'm gonna get help, I like to at least look at two or three pieces. But I'm not seeing not seeing a whole lot to look at. Okay, we'll look at those couple of pieces though. Okay, so it's a brass and I can't 
actually tell if it's a real stone. I don't think it is. It's it's not it's not cool enough. Okay, we're gonna put that one back. Can I see what did I want to see in here? I know there was one more thing. Um I hate when I do that. My brain does that. I forget. You know what? Maybe that was it. Maybe that was no, there was something else up here I was gonna look at. I think I was going to look at this ring, but okay. yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and look at this one. The black one? Yep. Well, this is really nice. But is it? Oh, it is a stone. Okay. It is a stone, but it's it's not a good quality metal. Oh, no. 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 Okay. All right. I just don't really see anything else worth really pulling out. Not this time. I saved the Christmas shelves for last. I know people are torn on, some want to look at it and some don't. So we will skim through it here. What are those? They're blue sky clay works. But what were these part of? There's two different shapes of them. Almost looks like railroad tracks, doesn't it? Like it was part of like a like a blue sky train tracky scene. I don't know. I'm not sure just those have enough value to pick up. So what's this little guy? Oh, it's a little, it's salt and pepper shaker. Oh, it's a Hallmark salt and pepper shaker Christmas tree. I actually really love that. I am gonna grab that. Let's see what we've got on this side. I cannot believe it. It's time for Christmas again. Oh, it's a little advent house with all these little hidden compartments. Oh, that's a cutie. That is a cutie for $5.99. My kids still love doing an advent calendar. So this will blend in with the decor. I, I'm going to get this for personal use. And that's, I should clarify, they like the advents where I put like a piece of chocolate or candy in and yeah, and that one kind of sets itself up for that. That's a cute little zebra in there. And then this little spirally kind of candy cane looking thing, but I think it's broke. No, it's got a string through it. Okay, it's not broken. Uh, toilet paper ornament. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, there's a couple in there that I like, but now I'm going to be good. I am going to be good. Ooh, can't do the glass ones. Can't do the glass ones. Too much wind knocks them down. And then it's broken glass and I have tortoises and that wouldn't be good. Shiny bright. Shiny. Oh, <gasps> O-M-G boxes of old shiny bright ornaments for $3.99 each. Those are coming with me. Okay. All right. Christmas section. Kind of exciting today. That's a fun find. Looks like they just brought those out too. So score for Danny. Now to decide which ones I keep and which ones I sell. All right, stay tuned for that recap, I promise. It's coming up right now. I'll share everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. 